it's got to get moving. Um, and just at the last Olympics, uh, uh, we had the same thing with Joe Joyce and Tony Yoka, where uh, Joe Joyce believed he won in the final and Yoka robbed him. And they've never fought. And there was it made so much sense um, for them, them two to get back on, but they never did. So hopefully a few years down the line, we get Ali Evan and Clark, who are both eight or, or nine or no, and, and we get them back in the ring in a professional one. And I think it will be Ali Ev, like, like yourself, that does it. Clark, to me, has a real ceiling. Clark he's going to be a, fun. He's going to be like a Tony Bellew. He's going to be like, I'm going to buy the crowd beers. He's going to sing Sweet Caroline. 100%. He's going to win some fights. He's going <laughs> to lose some fights. He's going to be a commentator yeah. for 20 years. He's going to win a see, world title. And it's going to be like a big British moment. I, I can't see him winning a world title. I don't think he has it. I think he's going to I think he's going to get one of those like vulnerable champions and has a big think, moment. A, a Charles Martin. <laughs> a Charles Martin type. Yeah, I given the state of the heavyweight division, that looks impossible at the moment. But um, yeah, I you know I think everyone everyone around the Team GB camp loves Fraser Clark, and you know they all love his influence and how enthusiastic he's been. And he's traveled he traveled to the uh, twenty sixteen games as well, and was was kind of chief cheerleader. And um, so he's very popular around the camp. So I'm sure that he has a, a big future in in some way in the industry, um, because he's just so popular around it, and everyone absolutely loves him. But yeah, I think um. You know, I, I think it'll be an exciting fight. So I'm not 100 percent on the on the world champion. I think that might be a, a tad too far for him. Well, I mean, I think him versus any of these Dillian White managed, advised heavyweight guys that Dillian White is randomly having that I didn't even know Dillian White had Fabio Wardley <laughs> or Fabio Wardley. Yeah, and I think Alan Bebek has some relation I, to Dillian I, White. I, I wasn't aware he was with Dillian White. I know he's part of the uh, the Matchroom stable. He may well be. It's very hard to keep track. It's like Dillian White somehow became a power broker under my eyes. Like I didn't I didn't realize it, but now he's make busting these big moves. I can see Fraser Clark fighting on like a Matchroom fight camp card against one of those guys. Yeah. Like that's that's like that's the perfect situation for Fraser Clark. He brings it in. He seems like a really nice guy. UK fight fans, you're a UK fight fan. It seems like UK yeah. fight fans are much more supportive. Like they want to see their fighters challenge themselves. They'll stick with you. And I think Fraser Clark's like the everyman. I, I think he is. I think you're bang on right in that, in that he will appeal to uh, a lot of people. Um, and, and I think that is kind of his level though. I think, like you say, the Fabio Wardleys, um, Nick Webb is another one we've got at the moment. Chisora um at kind of the uh, you know i can imagine uh although chisora is getting old i can imagine a fraser clark chisora headliner kind of coming off and, and the winner being fed to dillian white that kind of thing mm-hmm. that's to me his his upper limit but yeah I, I think he'll be in fun exciting fights for years even the the joe joyce rematch um and i, I believe it's on youtube um is the joe joyce fraser clark aba final which is like the, the national championships here, here in britain and it's a bomb burner. They go to war and uh, Fraser Clark was expected to win and Joe Joyce stops him in the third round. If you ever get a chance to watch that on YouTube, that's a brilliant fight. Um, but that, that could be a rematch, although once again, I think Joyce just has a bit too much for him. Well, I mean, that could be a trilogy for all we know. Like that could be a really good, that could be the series that yeah. defines both fighters. Let's go to my least favorite division in the tournament, heavyweight. This was a really bad division off the top of my head. Julio the Cruz won. He was really amateur, didn't enjoy watching him fight at all. He looks like a knockout waiting to happen. Muslo 